Believe it or not, this town has a lot of fine arts and music as well. And Latinos are making their mark there too, including Lina Gonzalez Granados, the LA Opera's new and first Latina resident conductor ever. How dope is that? So here we are in uh, one of the most prestigious jobs in America, one of the few Latin women in a position of fine arts yes. here in the LA Opera. How does that feel? It feels fantastic. It's been a long time coming. I'm the resident conductor, and I am in charge in my, of my own productions and my own agency, which is fantastic. That's for, unbelievable, unbelievable. You know, for a woman of color, yeah. for, for a woman in general, yeah. and most like Latina, here in LA, it's just it's fantastic. Incredible. Yeah, because they don't, they don't believe in America that Latin people can hold this space. For as long as classical music has existed, it's been recognized as a Western art form. And we all know what that means, European and white. But in recent years, Latinos have made their way in. And though we still make up only a small percentage of conductors in the United States, people like Lena are changing the game. The same is true for Venezuelan Gustavo Dudamel, who has been the music and artistic director of the prestigious L.A. Philharmonic since 2009. You came from Colombia, came to Jackson Heights, where I grew up, in, in yes. Queens. How, how was that journey? I'm an only child. I was coming from middle class home in Colombia with a lot of privilege. When I was 18, I moved to Bogota. That's where I study. And then I yeah. came here on a January 5th, 2010. So what were the big first moves in your life that happened? When I was living in New York, I remember that there was this huge Latina conductor that wanted volunteers in her orchestra. Her name is Alondra de la Parra, and I became her assistant conductor. That was like one of the, like, my dreams mm. come true to meet her because she was like my real role model. She taught me a lot about the love for Latin American music. And fast forward, I moved to Boston. Lena continued her education while in Massachusetts, earning multiple graduate degrees in conducting but the lessons she learned while in New York City stayed with her in Boston. Then I started like looking, you know, my surroundings and there was nothing Latin America centric in a city that has so many Latinos. I said, I'm just gonna make my own orchestra. When you say you're putting Latin centric music in, in your orchestra, is it salsa, is it cumbia or is it classical Latin music? Well, it's a little bit of all music that integrates our folkloric roots. As the artistic director of her orchestra, the Unidas Ensemble, Lena showcased the music of Latino composers and brought our special flair to Massachusetts. In 2017, a couple of very big institutions took interest in me at the same time. Right. That was the Chicago Symphony, where I won a competition, and then Seattle Symphony and Philadelphia. So when people started seeing the contributions that I have made as a Latina repertoire-wise, I caught the eye of this fantastic house, which is L.A. Opera. The L.A. Opera took a very high chance on me and said, you know, in a year and a half, we want to see you doing this production. Are you in? And yeah, I yeah. said, yes. And now you're conducting at, at the Hollywood Bowl. You're conducting yes. here, you're conducting all over America. I mean, it's incredible. So how do we create access for the Latin youth to get into the fine arts like this, this place? You know, that is a very loaded question. I think it has to be an effort in every single education system because we are cutting arts more and more in the public schools. And the people who are responsible for uh, education legislation to start thinking that this is something that belongs to us. It's, so, it's always been, you know, a, something, a cultural heritage. It's not only for the people in Vienna. You have to give someone that opportunity. And I hope some more people fall in love and can have the access. And if not, we have to create them, for right. sure.